This video is mainly for women, but guys watch it too because you'll get a bit of an insight. Now, this was asked to me by one of my female clients. She wants to know, the question is, what do men want most? What do they crave most? What attracts them the most? Great question. This is a great question because there's been so many movies about this. What women want, what men want. Both great movies, very funny. If you haven't seen them, watch them. They don't show you how to get a good relationship. They're just good for a laugh. Good. They're very entertaining. So, what do men want? What do they crave? First of all, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna, guys, if there's any guys watching, this is what women crave. They want a man who's a strong, confident, alpha male leader. That is what all women want. And regardless of who the woman is, what her background is, anything at all, they all want a strong, confident, alpha male leader. And if you don't know what that sentence means, look at some of my previous videos and really learn what it really means. Because if you think you know what a strong, confident alpha male leader is, but you're a little bit off, you're gonna have bad results. You have to pertain to every single part of that sentence for the best results. If you are this person, your life will be fantastic, your relationship will be good, and women will, women will be very attracted to you. Now, back to the original question which my female client asked, what do men want? What attracts men? What do men crave the most? Femininity, firstly. All guys want a woman who's feminine because the more feminine they are, the more masculine the man feels, okay? Think of feminine and masculine energy like a seesaw, right? Masculinity and femininity, okay? As a relationship goes on, men naturally get comfortable and naturally become more feminine as they become more comfortable. So as they become more feminine, the female subconscious realizes this and triggers masculinity and they start to become more masculine. It's like a seesaw or the scales of justice or something like that. As masculinity goes down, the female's masculinity goes up. So men are attracted to femininity, okay? They're like feminine. Think of feminine and masculine energy like a rose, yeah? Femininity is the flower the rose, it's beautiful, it's soft, it smells nice, it attracts the bees, it looks very beautiful. Masculine energy, or the man in the relationship, is the thorns. It's the protector, the strength of the rose, it's to protect the rose in life or death situations. Are you the rose, or are you the thorns? Which one are you? Really think about it, okay? So that's what that's all about. So men mostly crave femininity, and they also crave a few other things, okay? Men are attracted to different temperatures. Now, not temperature as in how hot a woman or how hot or cold it is outside, more how hot or cold a woman is. So, if I can explain it like this, a hot woman personality-wise is a girl who's sassy. She might be and has a lot of fire and energy in her soul and you can really feel it. Um, you might find girls like this from Italy or South America or Brazil or something like that where they're really spicy and sassy and they're, you can feel like a lot of inner strength. Some guys are attracted to girls who are very hot in that way, very spicy. Other guys are attracted to girls who are very cool and mellow and submissive, yeah? Girls who may seem, they're not sassy at all, they're very polite and calm and cool and submissive. Total opposites. I've personally seen girls before who were extremely attractive, very pretty, and they look great, they've got a great body, but they're very cool. They have no sass, they have no strength on the inside, they're very submissive, and they're happy and they're chilled out, like hippie sort of thing. I'm not attracted to that at all. Or, which, which I found very surprising years ago when I experienced this, because I said to myself, that girl is really pretty, she's got a great personality, she's really easy going. Why aren't I attracted to her? Because she had a cool personality. She had a cold personality, not a spicy one. I like girls who are spicy and hot with their personality and they're sassy, they've got a lot of inner strength. And they're like chilly, they, they like the red dress, you know? They're, they're, they're on fire. I like that sort of stuff. I like the heat. And I also like my food spicy. This is actually a bit of a, a, bit of a correlation. Not in all cases, but in, but in a lot of cases, guys who like hot women also like hot food. They like it spicy. They like that sass, they like the chilly. 
some guys who they don't like any chili. They like a they like it cool and calm and chilled out, and they like very bland foods. They also like their women very bland and submissive and cool and relaxed. I don't like that. I like the chili. I like the flavor, the sass, the energy. I crave that energy. So that's another thing, guys. Crave. Now, not all guys crave spicy. Not all guys crave submissive and cool. You can't change this about yourself. So don't even think about it. Just be who you are naturally. Okay? So that's something to keep in mind. If you're naturally really hot and spicy and sassy, be that. If you're really submissive and calm and cool and collected, be that as well. It's totally... That's, that's just you. Just be who you're comfortable with being. If you want to be submissive and relaxed and like a really chill out sort of person, do it. There's nothing wrong with that at all. That's just who you are and you should be happy with that. And find a guy who finds that attractive. But, but if you find a guy and you both really like each other but he's not really attracted to you, it may be because of the temperature you are. You can't do anything about that. Just naturally be who you are and find someone who finds that attractive. Some other things guys like are things that they find attractive. This is all comes back to the sentence of becoming what you want to attract. So if you really think about this, becoming what you want to attract, if a guy holds integrity and honesty and fitness and all these sort of things very highly, then he would want a girl who holds those things highly as well. If a guy likes, if he's a bit of a bandit, a bit of a rascal, he doesn't hold integrity and honesty very highly, He's, he just wants to have a good time and play Xbox and he might, you know, steal something from a shop, something small because it gives him a thrill and all this sort of stuff. He's not going to hold those things highly and he's going to be attracted to girls who don't hold those things highly either. So this is about becoming what you want to attract. If you want a guy who holds certain things higher than other things and has a certain personality and, and he may really like a certain hobby, become what you want to attract. Yeah, if you love doing marathons... Don't go out with a guy who hates running and hates fitness. That's gonna, you're gonna have troubles there. And he's not gonna be attracted to you anyway. He's gonna think that's really stupid that you run, you run for four hours straight. So go after what you wanna attract and that's about doing your ideal partner list. Do your ideal partner list so you've really got a good idea what you want your partner to be like, what hobbies you want them to have and what career you want them to have and what, and, and most importantly, what red flags do you not want them to have? And then if you're becoming what you want to attract, if you want a guy who loves marathons because you love marathons, you're going to be attracted to each other because you have a good similar interest. Guys and girls, we're not different in this space. We're exactly the same. We want someone who likes the same things as we do. We want to have friends who like the same things as we do. We're attracted, you know, birds of a feather flock together and all these sort of sayings. We want people who are similar to us. Yeah, it's, it's, that's, that's just how human beings work because we, we feel safe if we hang around with people who are like us, if, we, if someone has similar interests to us. So if you, if, you're, if you love baseball and that's the biggest thing and the most important thing to you in your life, you're not going to hang out with 10 people who hate baseball and they think it's really stupid. There's going to be a huge disconnect there. You want to hang out with people who like that. So what men crave most? Femininity their temperature that they're attracted to and their interests, their interests that which are specific to them. If they like baseball, rock climbing and marathons, they're attracted to the people who also like those things. So become what you want to attract. So what does all this mean? Become what you want to attract, be true to yourself and become who you want to be, okay? If you... If you love watching Netflix every day and eating a whole cheesecake to yourself and all this sort of stuff and you're a fat slob but you don't want to be, you want to be someone who's really fit and you want someone in your life who's really fit and healthy and a go-getter, you need to become that. If you're not who you want to be or at least trying to become what you want to be, you're not going to attract who you want. Instead, you're going to attract someone who you can get. Okay, you want someone with a 10 out of 10 body? Go and get yourself a 10 out of 10 body or at least be close, to, at least be on the way to it, at least be trying, at least be ambitious of the fact and taking steps to achieve that specific goal. Okay, so really in a nutshell, that's what, that's what attracts guys and guys, if you watch this video, if any males watch this video, you're going to get a lot out of it as well because they're all transferable. 
The same things that attract girls are the same thing that attracts guys pretty much anyway, okay? And with the temperature thing, it's the same with girls. You'll naturally see some guys and they got so much energy internally and, and they, got, they got a lot of spice, they got a lot of energy and chili in them, right? They got that, that, that hot temperature in their soul. And then there's some guys who are really chilled out, they're hippies and they're just relaxed. Go with the flow, man, they're really relaxed, they don't care. That might, you might be interested in either temperature and that's totally fine because that's who they are. So have a think about that. I hope that answers your question. If you've got any other questions, put them in the comments or let me know your thoughts and check out the other videos if you want to watch any other videos, subscribe to the channel. And remember, go where the, other, go where the winners go 110%.